Welcome to the 510 podcast. I am Heidi Matheson, and my goal in the next five to 10 minutes is to bring you some encouragement from the Word of God. In Ephesians 5 verse 10, Paul tells us to find out what pleases the Lord. And the writer of Hebrews says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. So together, let's strengthen our faith with the Word of God. Every day is a fresh gift from God, a fresh start, a new beginning, a clean slate. Whatever happened yesterday, it's over, it's finished, it's done with. When you wake up each morning, you get to make fresh choices, new decisions to live the life that God has called you to. Psalm 143 verse 8 says, Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. When we take our first waking breath in the morning, we are experiencing God's faithful love and a new day to discover and fulfill his purpose for us. What a privilege. The message paraphrase of this verse says, If you wake me each morning with the sound of your loving voice, I'll go to sleep each night trusting in you. So what will you do with your new day? Let's take a look at some scriptures that show us how God helps us to make the most of each new day. Isaiah 50 verse 4 The Sovereign Lord has given me a well-instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. If we make the time to be still and listen, each day, God will instruct us not only how to make decisions for our own lives, but also how to encourage and help others, particularly those who are too weary to listen for themselves. As we listen, he fills us up and we have content to share. In Matthew chapter 6, we see Jesus giving his disciples teaching on how to pray. And in verse 11, he instructs them to pray, give us this day our daily bread. Now, I believe that this is talking about daily provision for all of our needs, physical, emotional, and spiritual. I also believe that it links back to the Israelites wandering in the desert for 40 years and God providing daily manna from heaven. Remember his instructions to them to only collect enough for that day. When they didn't listen and they tried to collect more to keep for the next day, it turned rotten. The Bible says it was full of maggots and began to smell. Back in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Will you listen to what he has for you today? Will you use your voice to make known your concerns, your desires, even your requests, and see what God does for you? In Psalm 5 verse 3, David says, In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. David, the shepherd, the soldier, the king, knew that he could come to the Lord daily and the Lord would hear his voice. He knew that he could wait expectantly for the Lord to answer his prayers. In Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 24, it says, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. Every morning, friends, every day you can come before the Lord and know that your slate has been wiped clean. Every day there are new mercies and compassion ready for you. Every day there are new instructions and encouragement for you. Every day, God has fresh manna for you. I remember a moment several years ago when our family was going through some difficult financial struggles. We had three young children. We were living in a fairly expensive part of the world. My husband was self-employed and daily work wasn't always guaranteed. I was praying one morning and at the same time crying out, stressing about our lack. I was worrying about bills that needed to be paid and school uniform that needed to be bought. 
medical appointments that needed to be made and subsequently paid for. I was bringing my worries before the Lord. And then as I sat quietly expecting him to speak, I heard him whisper to my heart, Heidi, do you have enough for today? And I remember breathing a sigh of relief because the answer was, yes, I have enough for today. I did have enough physically. And through that question that he asked me, God strengthened me spiritually to know that I had enough for today and that he would take care of tomorrow. Now, I might be showing my age here, but there is an old country music song from the 1970s that is considered one of the top 50 Southern gospel songs. It's written by Mara John Wilkin, and I think it was written as a personal worship song to the Lord, but it became a massive hit. Listen to the words of the chorus of One Day at a Time, Sweet Jesus. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking of you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today. Show me the way, one day at a time. I think this song was born out of Psalm 143 and was written by a lady who was struggling with everyday problems and worries and concerns, and she was bringing them to the Lord. And I think that what is said in this song is exactly what David was saying in Psalm 143. Let's read it again, verse 8. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Friends, each day is a new day to hear God's voice and follow his instructions. His mercies and his compassion are renewed each day. He is available to listen to you each day. His faithfulness towards you continues each day. We don't need to worry about tomorrow. We just need to take life one day at a time. Thank you for listening. I hope you were encouraged today. You can find the 510 podcast on Facebook and Instagram. And if you found today's encouragement helpful, please subscribe and consider sharing it with a friend.